is that this time assume a good prone supported position. When the 356th Quartermaster Company went to the range run by Alpha Company 260th MI Battalion, they zeroed their weapons just like they always have. They took a firing position, fired three rounds, waited for their instructions from the tower, and then headed downrange. Make sure that when you pull that trigger, you squeeze nice and easy. Then back to the firing line to adjust their sights and do it all over again. Typically the rule of thumb for anybody coming through a range is 30 minutes to zero, 30 minutes to qualification. However, in a guard, um, you know, we don't have the ability to shoot all the time, so those times can be extended a little bit. Major Eric Larevic, Camp Landing's range officer and avid sports shooter, saw the Silver Mountain target system and thought this would be a system to help save time on the range. Put these on a different target. You're going to need to take this measurement, and it's just center to center in width and height. Wayne Forche is overseeing the setup of eight systems on the 50 cal range to demonstrate how they work. And to understand how the system works, you have to start with the bullet being fired. It has to be a sonic shot. You cannot put a pistol or a 22 caliber rifle on it. A sonic shot means when the bullet leaves the barrel of the weapon, it's traveling faster than the speed of sound toward the target, creating sonic booms. And it's those sonic booms the targets pick up on. Take a, a standard target frame, a uh, six foot target frame, which is what they have set up here. And we put a microphone hanger on each corner and set the microphones up and the, the pit box. We turned them all on and we came back to the 200 yard line and we fired calibration shots. When most people shoot at a target, they try to go for the center, but these microphones have to be taught where the center is located. To do that, the first four rounds need to be off center. When the bullet passes through the target, it's the sonic boom spreading out in all directions, which is picked up by the microphones. And although strict measurements were taken during setup, it's still not exact. And we went down, we measured those shots to the center and put them in the computer it's to calibrate the targets. Now when someone fires a shot, the computer will pick it up within a few millimeters. Once you get it calibrated, you can move that target from location to location, never have to recalibrate it again, so your setup time is a lot faster. So right now, the soldiers have to walk out to the targets and actually mark the shots that they just made. But with this system, a soldier can stay right here on the line, look at a tablet or a smartphone, and see how they did. Well, the good thing about this is that Florida Guard is the first installation uh, that has got this technology. So the next time a Florida National Guard soldier comes here to fire their weapon, walking to their target on the zero range might be a thing of the past. Reporting from Camp Blanding, I'm A.J. Artley for the Florida National Guard. Always ready, always there. <laughs>